this is the dry season, but the dry season has been quite unusual this year because it has been very warm, very hot, and very dry. And um, we, this year, as we um, note, we have broken quite a number of records when it comes to daytime maximum temperatures. It has been, um, for some couple of days over the past few weeks, temperatures have been above 100 degrees Celsius here in the western part of the country and, al and, and also in other parts of the country. And um, it's unusual in the sense that um, for, the, for a long time we haven't experienced temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius on a daily basis. Right? And so we can see then that this dry season has been very intense and it will continue this way. Uh, um, the dry season usually ends, for the country of Belize, it usually ends at the end of May. From the 15th of, the, of May on to the first or second week of June, we begin to see the showers begin, the, the onset of the rain season. But this year, probably that will be delayed because of the um, intense dry season that is affecting us. And we are, I would say, um, experiencing a, a drought year. A drought year means that it will be um, unusually dry, probably right through the, the first half of the rainy season this year. Well, because of the intense heat, the, um, the vegetation in the forests are dry. And so you have quite a lot of fuel for forest fire. And forest fires can be start started by natural causes or by, um, by human beings, like by people. Right? We are experiencing quite a lot of bushfires, and that then is the cause of the ash and the haze that we see um, covering the atmosphere or in the atmosphere these days. And um, apart from that, there is a movement or a, or a transportation of Saharan dust moving across the Atlantic Ocean into the Caribbean, and that is adding to the haziness that we're seeing in the atmosphere these days, here in Cayo and other places in Belize.